Assalamualaikum and hi. We have six members and we focus on Tariq Ziad Gold Company. Background. Kide bin Nasruddin Un, headquarter of the corporation are in Jeram, Kuala Selangor. Operation on October 2020. Gold and silver trade include jewel and gold reserve. Gold and silver leasing, sale of gold related equipment and other gold related business investment uh, among the company activity. Use social media platform like Facebook, Instagram and so on. Also provide wash a mask, zulian and silver and service. The part, the Tarek Ziad company is a business to consumer B2C and its key partner is Yi Wu Miang, the packaging product supplier at Zhejiang, China. Its key activities practices on sales activity that correlated with their value proposition which focus on the quality of the products. Next is maintain the relationship with the customer by offering special prices for those who are 30 to 45 years old, have steady jobs and interest in gold bar, dina and gold jewelry. Its financial Financial management is 12,000 ringgit Malaysia of capital for a month and its revenue stream is through online banking. Today I will explain about the current stage of information system applied in Tariq Ziad Gold Company. Based to the interview that have been done, Tariq Ziad Gold Company is very concerned and focused on the survey system. They service their customer about what is the best product and for less popular product they use alternative plans to promote their product by using the media social like Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. After that, for the company Tariq Ziad Gold, they use online survey which makes it very easy for the company to obtain information. Customers only need to fill in the Google form provided by the company. All information about customer will be stored and used to improve the performance of company. So that's all for me. Zia company have problem in monitoring the performance of finance rather than other problems. The company stated that they have been missing out on customer details since the owner may lack of employees and be unable to handle a variety of tasks. The company also is still new and the owner may lack of experience and knowledge in maintaining and tracking the customer data that correlated with the finance. All of the customer information was submitted and received by the company during the payment process, but it has already been lost because it was not properly stored in the system. So, incomplete records lead to poor customer service, which can result in huge losses and lost loyal customers. And, as a result of the situation, the company's sales remain stagnant because the company cannot reach out to the same customer base and does not have enough new prospects coming in. The need for information technology data within company, decision support system, used to evaluate business data, analytical, technical are uh, utilized to undertake large scalar data analysis, make better business decision. Next, transition processing system, record our commercial transition and in the grow process, regulate quality. Next, company need to have cloud computer, make it easy to communicate, simple required access to the internet. User is also safe online. Yahoo, PDF, Gmail and Google Drive are all examples of cloud computer. To explain about the other point of the needs of information technology data within company in sales system. Sales system such as sales over the internet can get competitive selling price of company. The way this transaction do often help to gain the trust of buyer who will then buy from a company website or phone system. Last but not least, a data business can shape and manage processes, optimize company operation, and ensure efficiency, effectiveness, advanced analytic approach may help business increase file operation, productivity, efficiency. Businesses can also optimize their personnel to make company good and consumer demand with a data-based approach. The reason why the company need to adopt new technology First, increase efficiency. Help speed up the process by allowing for greater flexibility in how tasks are completed inside the company. The right implementation of such a system might improve Tariq Ziyad's goal overall performance and efficiency. 
Second competitive advantage, digital transformation nowadays is very important for every business as it is one of the key for businesses to stay ahead of their business and always be ahead of their competitors. Third, technology distinction. Technology allows companies to maintain cash streams while providing value to customers. Automation, online ordering and virtual display have all become essential business initiatives hastening the transition to digital transformation. Next is technology for future growth. It will put the organization up for rapid growth as the nation economy begins to grow rapidly. Investing in technology today is a wise decision and it will cause this organization to preserve to boost growth in the long run. Next is robust workflow. This workflow management system can help the business to streamline a good workflow in the business company and also be able to continue the organization despite the uncertain times. Lastly is the differentiating technology. Online ordering, virtualization, and automation are key strategies for business. It has enabled business to maintain revenue streams within the business. For conclusion, the Rizago company has been missing out on customer details because the owner may lack of employee and knowledge in managing their finance in the system efficiently. As a result, the company says remains stagnant because they cannot reach out to the same customer base and do not have enough new prospects coming in. This situation has a significant impact on a company's ability to expand and manage its financial status. As customer and transaction, information is the most valuable data for a business to manage.